Well, there are so many things to be thankful for this holiday season. And one of those things I think everyone's thankful for is food. So I'm here with Taylor Mattingly for this week's edition of ILL Tell You What's Cooking. So Taylor, what are we cooking today? Well, Rebecca, nothing says Thanksgiving like a yummy sweet potato casserole. And this... Just talk to the family. <laughs> I love this. It's my favorite thing to do. Yes. Dish. So this would be perfect for a family Thanksgiving or if you're not leaving campus over break, definitely a Friendsgiving. Yes. Um, that would be sad if you weren't leaving campus over break. But <laughs> at least this will make things a little oh, bit more yeah. cozy. Exactly. More homey. Yes. I love it. So um, the first thing you're going to need to do is, I've split this recipe in half so you guys could see the finished product today. Um, okay. So you're going to need about three pounds of sweet potatoes. Okay. Uh, I already boiled them in water. You're going to want to boil them until you can stick a fork in them and it'll fall right off. Okay. Do you cut it up then? Or yes, you, you skin it, it um, skin okay. the sweet potato, and then, of course, peel it, I guess, <laughs> instead of skin it. And then um, you would chop it up and then boil it just until it's tender. It takes an hour, depending on how big you um, dice the chunks. Okay, awesome. All right, What's so, the next step here? so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is add one tablespoon of butter. So I'm going to grab this out and okay. we'll just take Just a, put it right in here? Yep, we're okay. just gonna mash it all up in there together. Great, should this butter be is it softened? Or um, is it is softened. Okay. I did leave it out just so it would soften up a little bit. Um, it's a lot easier to mix in that way. Of course. Okay. And then you're going to want an eighth of a cup of milk that I've already measured out here. Okay. Love it. I'll pour that over. And then you're going to want about a half a teaspoon of um, cinnamon, or you can use pumpkin pie spice. I like to put pumpkin pie spice in the potatoes oh, and cinnamon fun. in the topping. Okay. So cool. We're going to use just a little half teaspoon here. And we're gonna. I'm gonna pour over all of it. And it smells so good. It, so it definitely good. smells just like that mm, fall, like pumpkin exactly. spice type. And then you're just literally gonna want to mash everything up okay. and mix it together. So if you want to do yeah. that, I'll start on the topping. Sure. So um, this is a little bit different of a different take than your normal sweet potato casserole. It's normally just marshmallows on top. Um, this actually has an almond mixture, or not almond, oh. uh, pecan mixture oh, on top yum. of it with the marshmallows. Even more salt, yes, you know? so it's a <laughs> little bit enough. different. So oh, I'm going like to steal oh, this measuring cup from you. Um, so you're going to want about a quarter cup of pecans to go in this mixture. Okay. So it's mostly just like those go on top, right? Yes. Not within. Okay. So it's a topped um, quarter cup of Yum. pecans. You're going to want an eighth of a cup of flour. So this is going to be kind of like a strudel topping. Um, and it's going to brown nicely on top and it's just going to give it a really nice flavor. So I want to make sure I have Very cool. That. So it makes like a strudel topping. Yes. needed for that. And okay. also a quarter or an eighth of a cup of brown sugar in there. Okay. So we're not going to fill this all the way. A little brown sugar never hurt anybody. No. <laughs> no, not that, not this no, season. My mom was always <laughs> like, more is more. <laughs> so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can never have too much. Yes. That's for sure. It's even more softened butter. Yes, so two tablespoons right. of butter here, and then you're just going to um, mix this together, and it'll, cut, it'll start to pack together once you get okay. the butter mixed there. Is it kind of turned into like a doughy texture? Yes, in a yeah, way? exactly. Okay. So it kind of just becomes like a little, it, it, a crumble is kind of what it looks like. Oh, yeah. So okay, like great. on like a Dutch apple pie, they have like a brown sugar crumble. Yes. So yes. once you're done with that, you put this on top, put okay. the marshmallows on top and pop it in the oven on 350 for about 15 to oh, 20 minutes. Love the marshmallows. And love it'll them. all be finished up. My favorite foods. Yeah, so let's get a good this look. is the let's finished this. product. Oh my gosh, love it. Love how it's brown. Yes. Delicious. Golden. Um, you, oh my I gosh. always try to turn the, it on broil, but make sure you don't leave it on for too long. Okay. So. Gotcha. Yeah, this is going to be beautiful on the Thanksgiving table. Yeah, absolutely. I love that so much. Thank you so much. Of so, course. 